So the other breaking news you just handed me is that Kimbo Slice died. Whoa. How did he die? Kimbo Slice died. Was, uh, I think he was admitted to the hospital with a heart condition <sighs> today or maybe Thursday the other day. And news is breaking just as we were coming on. People were trying to get confirmation on if he actually passed. And the American oh, so top team tweeted it. That he oh, did. the American top team tweeted that he died. He must have really died. Wow. He was a good guy, man. I met that dude a couple times. Very nice guy. Fuck, man. Crazy story he had, man. Just fuck internet street fights into the UFC. Well, or he was, first into the CBS thing. He was a good boxer. You know, he was a good boxer in the early days of uh, MMA. You know, and if you go back and watch his like Kimbo Slice KO and Elite XC, just Elite XC fucked up in trying to put all their eggs in one basket and have this guy who was this internet sensation be their figurehead. I mean, it made sense like financially, but the people in the know. Like me, I was like, listen, if he fights someone good, he's going to get fucked up. Like, I see all these holes in what he does. And it, it was frustrating as a hardcore fan because it was still at a point, like, the, the UFC is much, much bigger now. Right. It was, I remember when they got that fight on uh, on CBS, like, MMA had never been right. on a big network like that before. So it was very frustrating that... The biggest network was putting it out as if this guy was the best guy in MMA. And, you know, us uh, like hardcore fans like me and my friends would be around bitching like Randy Couture would take him down in a second. Oh, yeah. and, you know, but he was fun to watch. Well, people forget that Elite XC sort of had the scoop on the UFC. They had the scoop on getting on broadcast television and they had millions of people watching those fights. Didn't UFC, like, weren't they in talks with HBO mm -hmm. and then it like fell apart and then Elite XC ended up getting the deal with Showtime or well, whatever? Well, here was one of the problems. HBO wanted to replace me and Goldberg and put in their own commentators. They wanted to do their own version of the broadcast because they probably felt like us as UFC employees would be biased. And the UFC was like, that's not going to happen. Like, first of all, who are you going to get? Like, how many people are out there, especially at the time, that even do commentary? There's a small handful of people in the world that are qualified to do MMA and commentary at a top level. It was not a big problem like back then. Yeah.